I want to talk a little bit about the socialization project as we have roughly three weeks before it is due. So according to the socialization project guidelines in modules, we are supposed to write down five principles from each of the five areas. The five areas being the family, school, uh, peer group, media, and the community. And we had to say whether we agree or disagree with these principles and explain why and why not. So I want to give you two examples of principles. On page 51, I found a principle in relation to the area of family. And that principle reads, in years gone by, divorce was seen as deviant and families of divorce were regarded as broken and dysfunctional. Now, I happen to agree with that particular principle. Not that divorce is broken or dysfunctional, but the fact that years ago it had that particular stigma. And the reason why I agree with that was because as a child, I remember that all of my friends and friends of the family, they were all married. When I was a kid, I did not know one divorced family. As far as I was concerned, you know, all families were married or were expected to be married. And I remember I used to watch TV shows uh, uh, in which the subject was divorce. And divorce was always treated as this thing that is horrible for uh, the man and the woman, not to mention the children. Divorce was like bad, 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 as portrayed on TV shows that I used to watch. So, um, so for that reason, I agree with that particular principle being represented in uh, the text in regard to family. Now, I'm going to share a second principle pertaining to school more specifically child care. On page 98 in the book, uh, when it talks about size, it says, in preschool classes ages three to five, the smaller the group of children, the more the children engage in creative, verbal, and cooperative activities. I don't altogether agree with that particular principle because even though there is a correlation I've discovered between smaller class sizes and more cooperation and creativity in the children, sometimes the amount of cooperation and creativity pertains not to class size, but rather the individual child in relation to gender. I've noticed that, uh, that preschool girls tend to be more uh, cooperative and creative than preschool boys do because girls and boys. I've also noticed that regards to temperament, children who are flexible are more likely to be cooperative and creative than fearful children are. So that is why I disagree with that principle. This is based upon my experience as a preschool teacher. So even though size can correlate with the amount of cooperation and creativity in the child, there are other factors to consider as well. Okay, so here's part one of this week's ICA. Part one is, I want you to find one principle yourself in the book. It could be a principle under family, under school, under the peer group, under media, or under community. Okay, I want you to pick one principle just to give yourself some, uh, some practice. And I want you to state whether you agree or disagree with that principle. And I want your agreement or disagreement to be based on your experience as a child or a teenager or maybe even a, a young adult. Okay? So that is part one of the ICA. Pick a principle from the book, say whether you agree or disagree with it, and give your reasoning for agreeing or disagreeing. And this will give you some practice uh, long before the socialization project is due.